Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have an incredibly useful automation tutorial for you. We are going to show you how you can transcribe your video files into text, documents or PDFs automatically. So whether you are a student, a content creator or simply someone who needs to convert spoken words into written text format, this video is for you and it is going to save you hours of manual efforts and time. And the best part is you can set up this whole automation without any coding super simply. So let's dive right in. To set up the workflow, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste the link of this page in the description so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, sign up right now from the given link and then stay with me till the end of this video to learn this automation. Okay, so after signing up, you can sign in and reach the dashboard. From here, click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name. Now I am clicking on this create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which are the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action is the automated response or the consequence of the trigger. In our use case, guys, we are uh, we want that our video files that we have here in our spreadsheet. This is my spreadsheet in Google Sheets and here I am saving the file links of, my, of the video files and the video titles. And the links I have created with the help of my WordPress website where I have uploaded some video files, okay? So I want to transcribe my website video files into documents. And here I have saved the data. So guys, whenever I enter the data here, I want the workflow should run, transcribe my file and upload the uh, transcription link here in this transcripted file link column okay so for that to happen first of all we need to set up the trigger that is in the uh, choose app option select google sheets and the trigger event would be a new row in this spreadsheet okay so the trigger event would be a new row or entry in the spreadsheet then it will give you this webhook URL and these instructions. You can follow these instructions simply and create this connection. If you want to know how to set up this uh, uh, trigger, you can watch the videos from our channel. We have numerous videos on Google Sheets connection as trigger. You can explore the channel and uh, create the connection. Then after that, <clears throat> we are going to capture the response of that connection. Okay. So when you copy this URL to be entered in Google Sheets setup of uh, the connection, here it will start showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means after creating the connection, when you are going to enter the data here like this, the data will be captured here. Or what you can do, you can open the initial setup of the connection that you are creating. From there, you can send the test data here. Let me show you that. So guys, this is the initial setup of our connection with Google Sheets and here we have this send a test button. So by clicking on send test, the date of the first row will be sent to the trigger as the response. Okay, let me show you that here I'm clicking on send test. And here you can see guys test data sent successfully started showing up here. Now you can click on submit and close this initial setup and you can check in your workflow if you got the data. And here is how you will receive the response of the connection. So here it started showing the title of the video, the link of the video, the trigger column, the spreadsheet's name and the spreadsheet ID, etc. Okay. After that, guys, what you can do, just go back in the uh, spreadsheet and from the extensions from the Pabli Connect webhooks uh, add on that we have used to create the connection. Just check this send on event option as well. So that whenever you are going to provide any new row information here of the video file, the workflow is going to trigger, right? After that, guys, here in the section tab, we are going to connect with a transcription application, which is called Happy Scribe. Just search for Happy Scribe, which is a transcription tool. And the action event we are going to use here is 
create transcription okay then click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the api key of uh, happy scribe application and the organization's id so you'll get these things from the settings page of uh, happy scribe you can read in the instructions and you have to fill it in this format just put bearer word here first bearer then you have to put a space then you have to paste the key let me show you the key this is my happy scribes applications dashboard okay from here you can see in the top uh, right uh, left corner here we have the profile icon from here click on settings under settings page you will find the api tab click on it here you can see the api just copy it and paste it here after bearer word like this and in the organization id put this organization id number okay just copy it and put it here right then click on save and you will be connected with happy scribe like this okay <clears throat> and here it started asking for these things the transcriptions name the language name uh, the language code the media url and uh, the workspace name and the subtitle so here in the transcription name i'm going to name the uh, transcription as the name of the video file so here we have received the video title you can see here is the value so i'm going to map this video title label here in this transcription name field right so to map it here you just have to click here the and the previous step will appear like this and from here you can map the video title label like this okay and here it is asking for the language code here you can fill en for english or you can ju just check the list of the codes we have here by clicking on this here word so these are the language codes given you can just check for english india it is enin let me just copy this and and paste it here right here it is asking for the media url so i'm going to map the media url that i got from the first step here is the video link just map it here for the workspace name you can check happy scribe applications dashboard and you will find a, a workspace name right here the name of the workspace is arpita's workspace so you can just copy this and put it here all right and after this it will ask if you want subtitles you can set it true or false according to your need so when you set it true this transcription will be set as subtitles okay so it will give you the subtitles of the video now click on save and send test request button and your happy scribe application will started working on the transcription of the file and this is how the response will appear now to get the link of the transcript file uh, transcripted file from happy scribe you need to connect happy scribe again here in the next step so just click here in this plus icon and from the section event uh, select happy scribe again then select the uh, action event as create export okay select create export option then click on connect button now you can use the existing connection that because we have already connected with happy scribe so keep this selected and then click on save one more time so no need to fill the api again and it will be connected here you can choose the format of the file a text doc or pdf i'm selecting pdf format here it is asking for the transcriptions uh, <clears throat> name so you can map the transcriptions name by clicking on this map button and here's how the uh, you have to map the transcriptions id okay so you'll get the id first of all erase this help text and you will get the id from the previous step where you have created the initiated the uh, transcription here is the id that we need okay so map this id label here in this field just click here and from the second step map the id label right here it will ask show timestamps you can make it true show speakers you can make it true or false show comments you can make it true or false highlights we have same options right now click on save and send test request button and it will start creating the export of the file that you have initiated okay and here you can see in the response started that uh, 
the export is started creating but it is in pending state it is showing pending so it it takes four to five minutes for happy scribe to create a transcripted file of your video so what we need to do here we need to uh, say to this workflow that you need to hold for four to five minutes you have to wait until the happy scribe application uh, creates the exported file for you okay now to make this happen just click here on this plus icon and we need to use a feature of public in it which is called delay module feature here is delay just select it so with the help of delays you can put delays or you can hold the workflows for a few minutes or uh, any time unit that you want so here it is asking how much delay you want to put in a workflow so select delay for option we have delay until option as well to delay the workflow till a specific date right now i'm using delay for because we want this workflow to wait just for a few minutes so i'm selecting the units as minutes and in the delay value i'm just going to put five so it is going to wait for five minutes then it will continue okay then click on save and send test request button here you can see the uh, workflow is delayed for five minutes okay after this step and after waiting for five minutes what i want i want that the happy scribe should give us the transcripted files link for that to happen just connect with happy scribe again okay and use the action event as retrieve and export okay so we have already initiated an export now we are going to uh, retrieve that only so click on connect from here keep existing connection click on save here it is asking for the export id so we have the export id here you can see in the third step or or the second last step we have here is the export id okay and i'm going to map this here in this happy scribe export id field just click here and from this third step map this id okay now click on save and send test request button and you will get the pdf downloadable link of the same transcripted file that you have got in happy scribe here you can see guys the state of the file is now ready here is the downloadable link of the file you can see here now guys i want to update the link of this transcripted file here in this spreadsheet in this c column okay now to happen it automatically just click here on this plus icon and from here connect with google sheets again and the action event you have to use is update cell value search for update cell value then click on connect button from here to make the connection with google sheets just click on this add new connection and then you have to sign in in your google account by which you have created the spreadsheet and you will be connected i'm going to use my existing connection for now okay for this i'm using here and i'm clicking on save and i'll be connected again right here it is asking to select the spreadsheets name so the name of my spreadsheet is video transcription files just select it from here like this and here it is asking for the sheet name so the sheets name is sheet one we have only one sheet so it is auto populated here like this then it is asking for the range of the cell which you want to update so guys here you can see i want to update this uh, this cell that i have already selected okay and here you can see as i select this it started showing c2 in the name box c2 means this cell is presented column c row number two okay now to put this here in this range field just click here and put capital c and for the row value use the trigger step so trigger in this trigger step you will find this row index label and here it will show you the uh, the number of row from which the data is coming so here th that will be the same row where you have added the video file link so it will be auto uh, updated here if you map this row number here in this range okay so just click here and from this row index label just map it here so it will become c2 or c3 or c4 so on okay and here in the value just map the exported files link downloadable link from the last step like this okay and 
to check the connection click on save and send test request button and your link will be updated here in this c column okay let me show you that i am clicking on save and send test request button and this is the response we got let us see here okay so we have received the link here in the c uh, in this uh, cell okay so this is how it is going to work so we are, our connection is working fine and from here you can just download the pdf file as well you can see the uh, file is downloaded here okay transcripted file so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically whenever you are going to add any new file link here the video will be transcripted and will be up uh, and the link of the transcripted file will be updated in the cells automatically and you do not do need to do it manually so it will save a lot of your time and guys i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel